Hi! Welcome or welcome back to the Bodacious Bunch YouTube channel. I'm Doris Charming, also known as Stop It Meg, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the portrait backing puzzle in Nancy Drew Shadow at the Water's Edge. So, as far as I've seen, a lot of people tend to have difficulty with this one, and they don't necessarily understand the concept of the puzzle and what they're really, you know, supposed to do, and they don't understand, you know, just the goal in general of uh, how you're supposed to accomplish it, like how does it work? And um, not to brag, but I tend to be quite good at this one, and along with the rest of my fellow members of the Bodacious Bunch, we've all agreed that um, coming up, you know, on the channel, we're probably going to do a lot of tutorials like this on puzzles that people tend to not understand and that, they, you know, they have just overall difficulty with them. So today, like I said, we're going to do the portrait backing puzzle. I find that I'm quite good at it and I'm going to attempt to kind of explain it to you and show you, you know, I guess a strategy that I would use when doing the puzzle. Hello, Rentaro. How are you? Hi. Let's see. There we go. Is that the portrait from the lobby? Yeah, I'm reframing it. Although it's way harder to do than I thought it would be. It's got a really strange backing. Would you like some help? Have at it. This thing is officially making me nuts. The tools you'll need are near the frame. Let's get started. It looks like I need to find a way to make sure none of the wires are crossing. So, um, I may be wrong, but I think I've seen a few times myself where people kind of, uh, you know, uh, they tend to think maybe you're supposed to kind of like expand the wires as much as you can, right? But that's not necessarily always the case. Like you really just, you know, it's kind of a different thing if I really just try to explain it to you. So I think it would be better if, you know, I kind of did it along the way and kind of, you know, just showed you, um, I guess the process you would call it. So yeah, we need to make sure that none of these wires are crossing. And really, you just kind of have to go with it, go with the flow, and just work your way and try to figure out what's, you know, the best solution here. So right now, I'm just kind of taking a look at all of my options here, and I'm kind of just playing around with it to see, you know, which ones are connected to what, what goes where. The goal here is to, you know, it's quite obvious, we don't want any of these wires to be crossing. So we're going to figure something out here. I'm not going to rush into it. I kind of just want to take it a bit slower so, you know, you don't really miss anything. Um, yeah, there we go. Already kind of getting somewhere. But you also have to keep in mind, right, you know, some of them are connected, some of them aren't. So you really have to try to kind of just work your way around it. I think I can do something here. Yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of the cross here here um perhaps maybe but then what we'll do is okay um so whenever i beat this puzzle i find that you know I tend to kind of have them, it's not that I necessarily aim for this, it's that they kind of end up a little squished up together, but uh, it might look a little bit messy, but I mean, hey, if it's, uh, if it's a solution, if you manage to, you know, get all of them. Okay, so as we can see here, uh, we have a little problem, you know, we definitely have some wires crossing. So let's take a look here at what seems to be the problem. It's definitely this over here. So we are going to find a solution for this. Yeah, you really just have to play around with it. Okay, let's see what we can do with this big guy here. And what seems to be crossing? All right, hold on. Uh, what if we did... So... Okay, um, let's just... Let's try to do it a little bit like this. And then... Okay, so we're almost done. But we do need to try to figure out what to do with this uh, 
this line that's crossing over here. Maybe we can play around with, okay, no. It's definitely, it's, it's definitely time consuming for the most part. And even I sometimes have hiccups with it. Like right now, I'm really trying my best over here. And I know it kind of contradicts what I said earlier about me being a pro, but hey, it happens. And so, yeah, once again, we have a little problem here. We have a wire crossing. Let's see what we can do about it. Um, hold on. No, yeah, we have this problem here. Okay, so... How am I going to fix this? Well, I'm just going to take a look around and see if there's anything I can change that won't kind of mess up my process so far. As I can see, the only really issue that we have right now is this one little line over here that's crossing. And that tends to happen. You know, you're playing the game and you think you've got it. And you've got this one little oopsie here and it's just not working out for you. And we need to try to figure out how we're going to fix it. So... Well, would you look at that? We fixed that problem there, but now we have something else to fix. I got the backing off the portrait. Nice job. Okay, yeah, so. You know, for a minute there, I did have that one little issue, you know, there was that one uh, wire it was crossing, but then I totally, you know, kind of just went around with it and kind of tested out, you know, uh, the rest of them around me, you know, the main points there. And so, you know, in the end, it's, it's really not as difficult as, you know, people make it out to be sometimes. I understand we all have our own preferences and opinions, of course, we all do. But, uh, you really, um, you know, I guess people tend to get frustrated. They're all like, oh, I have no idea how to do this. Like, none of this makes sense. You really don't need to rush into it. Just take your time and just play around with the wires. Literally just <laughs> place them wherever you want and just kind of acknowledge and, you know, take into consideration, okay, so these ones are connected, these ones aren't. And just the more you do it along the way, um, yeah, you'll, you'll eventually get it. So, um... You know, a lot of strategies tend to have, like, you know, wires that are kind of out here in the open and don't really have anything close to them. But then we have, like, a little bunch over here that's all kind of, um, it looks a bit messy, right? But, you know, it doesn't really matter because what you want to do is you really just want to make sure none of the wires are crossing. It really doesn't, um, the presentation and, you know, if it looks messy after and you're just like, what the hell did I just make? It really doesn't matter. Yeah, so as soon as you finish with that, you get to unlock a new part of the game. What's this? And well, there we have it. I now we have this. this article. But I'm not here to play the, the entire game. I'm just here to help you with that one puzzle. So I really, really enjoy this puzzle, if I'm being completely honest. But um, I really hope this video is helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. And yeah, I, I'm just here to help. <laughs> I've tried my best. I, I hope this was a good tutorial. I hope I explained it well enough. And yeah, I think it's safe to say that, um, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not the worst. There's definitely some Nancy Drew puzzles that are like, oh, you know, compared to this one. But yeah, and I, yeah, and I think it's just, you know, a good time to end the video here. I think I've think I've nailed that and yeah I will see you guys again sometime soon and yeah stay tuned for more and stay bodacious